Hey YouTube, in this video we'll be testing out how long an Alpacool 37 quart cooler can stay uh, running and keep everything cool while connected to a 500 watt watt fund power station. Uh, if, if you like this content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell to be notified of new content. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to be going over uh, hooking the Alpacool cooler, which I, I just did a separate video on that and all the features and functions of it, up to a Watt Fund power station, which I've also done a video for in the past. These are two things I take out camping with me, and uh, we were sitting around wondering how long it would stay connected on a refrigerator and how long it would stay connected on a freezer. Uh, so we're going to do two tests. Uh, it's 90 degrees outside. It's super hot here in Canton, Georgia. And it's going to be uh, warm for the next couple of days, so I want to do a real-world test. So I've got this out on the back deck, and uh, let's go ahead and get started. Let me kind of walk you through the front stuff here. Okay, the basic setup for this particular one are we are running this one on refrigerator. It is full of beer. Um, I went ahead and got it cold out of the gate, just like I would do normally uh, before we started the test. So we've got it sitting at 34 degrees, it's 36, it's 90 degrees outside right now and we've got it hooked to our charger you can see we are pulling uh watts off of this this is fully charged 500 watt we're hoping this will go at least say three days uh, right now we are at four minutes and 14 seconds uh, on our timer and i'm going to come out here every day for the next three days uh, roughly at three or four o'clock in the afternoon and uh do an update and let you know where we're at Look forward to more updates. Uh, see you tomorrow. Okay, we are at day two. If we look at our stopwatch, we are at 24 hours and 50 seconds. If we look at the battery, at this point we're at, at the 60%, which means we're anywhere between 60 and 80%. Um, you can see the air compressor, or the compressor is on right now. We're drawing down about 55 watts out of this thing. And so it's been running all night and it has been hot. It is 88 degrees right now, but it feels like, according to the Weather Channel, that it feels like it's 98. Uh, this guy's hovering around 38 degrees. If you look inside, all this stuff is nice and sweet and cold. Lots of cold beer. And so it's moving along. This, is, this test we're doing may not be normal for what you could get out of one of these because it is so hot outside and we left this outside the entire time. So I'm hoping to get three days out of this. We may only be able to get two, two and a half at the most. But that'll suffice most weekend warrior trips. And when you're driving around, you might have this uh, hooked inside your car until you get to the campsite. So more to come. But uh, we'll, we'll pop this back up and we'll look into this when we get to day three. But that was day two. Stay tuned. Hey, YouTube. Well, this is uh, I thought we were going to get to a day three. But I came out this morning just to check on it, and I checked on it last night. Um, and it looks like when I first came out, we had a, a little bit of power lights on. But as you can see, everything's down at the bottom. When I came out here and clicked it on, everything turned off. So it looks like we made it uh, on the refrigerator side about 40 hours. And if I come and kind of look, kind of clicked on where we were here, and I'll post it up in the corner. So I was hoping this would go a lot longer, but if you think about 40 hours and you leave on a Friday afternoon, uh, and Sunday afternoon is at 48 hours. So even though that, and this thing's still operating like a cooler, everything in here is still really cold. So, all right, so that ends the refrigerator test. Um, so it looks like we went about 40 hours in severe heat of 90 plus degrees. So now we're gonna switch gears and move to the freezer test. Let me get this, uh, watt fun charger charge back up and then we'll start that test this afternoon it's going to be super hot again here today more to come okay now that our cooler test is over for doing the refrigerator which did not last as long as i thought we went about basically about a little under two days and 40 hours um we're now we're going to do the freezer test so we've got the freezer set at uh, six degrees here and it's currently about nine and we got it set at the maximum temperature and if we look over here we're running we just started so we're at 32 seconds 
and this thing is at 100% and we're drawing 40 watts running this. We also put in some ice and I had this going for a while just so it'd be cold and so we got ice on the sides as well. Um, so we are now ready to go. Again, it is super hot. It's about 89 degrees outside. Feels about like 100. And uh, we'll come back, uh, maybe not a day, maybe we'll come back in about six or eight hours, see how things are going. Stay tuned. Okay. Well, we are at hour 16 and, and 19 minutes. And we're down to 40% or less on our battery. Uh, so obviously we're on the freezer still and it is moving along. Got this guy hovering at six degrees. If we look in here, our ice is still, still going strong. Um, I don't think we're gonna make a whole day. I don't know, we'll have to see. So right now it's about eight o'clock in the morning. Um, so this has been going all night and, and uh, most of the hottest part of yesterday. So I'll come back out here in a couple hours and we'll do it some again. Okay, well this thing went about 20 hours. Just cut off, we're down to zero here. And this cooler died on us. <sighs> Trying to get a little melting. Still, still there, ice is in. So looks like you can go about 40 hours on a refrigerator and about 20 hours on a freezer. Now I had these set to max and it was super hot. So in, in, in like fall or spring uh, conditions, you can probably go a l quite longer. But because it was so hot, the compressor on the, on the units were having to work overtime. Hey, thanks for watching. And if you like what you saw, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click the bell to be notified of new content.